Hey guys, so today I'm making rust powder, also known as iron oxide. For this, I have a couple of simple and cheap ingredients, cleaning vinegar, some bleach, some fine grade steel wool. At least that's, uh, I'm pretty sure that's, I'm, I'm not sure really, uh, I guess it's fine grade, but it is the finest I can find. But either way, make sure you're wearing uh, proper protective equipment when doing this, along with uh, a well-ventilated area. This is some pretty caustic stuff, guys. So, I guess I'm going to sit here and wait until I actually do something. Oh, oh, wait, I'm doing something. Looks like I'm taking the vinegar and doing something. Well, yep, okay, I grabbed a cup. Here we go. So now I'm pouring the vinegar. Um, I'm gonna guess about half a cup yep half a cup all right so now I got oh wow okay I'm gonna pour it in this square jar in that square jar all right there we go square jar how silly is that <laughs> either way all right so now I'm gonna do something with this bleach um, guessing half cup yep half a cup all right so I guess I put that away <laughs> And oh, there we go. Just I thought, poured into the square jar again. All right. So now I take these square steel wool pads, as you can see, there's about four, five, or whatever. And I put it into the square jar. And almost immediately, I mean, it, it, it all fits so well, but almost immediately, uh, it starts turning, turning color. Almost immediately. Can I get a close up of this? Somebody? Yep, there we go. All right, awesome. Oh, look at that. It's already turning color. And give it a few minutes, I guarantee you it's going to be pretty warm. All right, so now, you know, come on, let's stir it around. Stir it up some. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at that. Look at how dark that is already. I mean, it's only been a few seconds all right so i'm gonna let that sit for about 24 hours now i have another batch that i've already been letting set so um eventually whenever i come around to it i guess i'm gonna take that and where am i at come on come on where am i at oh there we go oh wait a minute wait a minute did you forget to filter Yeah, I, I was, I'm supposed to have a coffee filter in there, but I'm guessing I didn't have it in there. All right. Oh, come on. What's taking you so... Oh, there we go. All right, now we got the coffee filter. Let's, uh, let's put... Go ahead and put that in there. There you go. There you go. Now we're going to take this mix, and we're going to pour it and let it strain through the coffee filter. Now this is going to take a little while. It, yeah, it's going to take a little while because, uh, you know, all the rust in there is going to clog it up some. So, so I guess whenever I get around to it, I'm going to take and set the jar over to the side and let that drain. Because for the purpose of this video, I already have uh, a couple of other filters that I've already uh, strained. So, either way, whenever I get to it, come on, there we go. Yeah, set it over to the side. Make up your mind. All right. So there it is, the coffee filters. Now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna scrape all the rust off of them. And I'm gonna take and put it into that glass jar over there. Now inside that glass jar that you can't see, I mean, you can see the jar, but you can't see inside of it. I've got some, um, some ball bearings, just a couple ball bearings. Cause once I have the powder in there, I'm gonna take and close it up and I'm gonna uh, shake it around really good. We'll break that all down into a nice fine powder now that as you'll see when I open it you can see all that all that uh, smoke come out from it uh, the dust or whatever but that's another reason for you need a, a well ventilated area so there you have it that's rust powder or iron oxide well I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, hope to see you guys on the on my next video have a good one